Hey, so this isn't the typical kind of video that I would do, you know, movie news and all that kind of stuff. Like, I'm not really one to jump on the trends and to jump on the news lines and be like, this is happening. This is the very thing that I read and I'm just going to read what I've read out to you. That's not really what I'm about just because I don't quite know how to spin it in a unique way. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't, but uh, that's, that's what I'm doing, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. But I, I thought that either way, I would do it for this one because Insidious is back in action. Insidious is back in, back in town, baby. Insidious is, is in the spotlight. Insidious is, Insidious has some news. It's not even that big a news thing, but it's confirmed that number five definitely is coming out. That was a little uncertain since the last one, um, the last key. Like, we weren't quite sure what was going on. Three and four had these kind of weird prequel elements to them. Well, three was a full-blown prequel. Four was a sequel to three, but it was a prequel to one and two. So, it, you know, we've gone back in time for a while and, you know... None of them have really, I mean, three and four. The franchise hasn't been fantastic since one and two. I absolutely love one and two. I think the other two are fairly good, but you know, I'm excited because Patrick Wilson as Josh Lambert is coming back. And not only is he coming back to play the character, but he's also going to direct this movie as a debut uh, directorial effort or however you want to phrase it, um, which is awesome. I'm, I'm quite a fan of Patrick Wilson from that and from The Conjuring and from a few other movies that he's in. He's in this really good one called Hard Candy and... I don't know, he's in a bunch of stuff. You know him, probably, maybe. Anyway, yeah, he's coming back to direct. I'm pretty excited to see that because after Lee Wannell's first directorial work on Insidious 3, like, it's cool to see that the franchise is giving these cool, like, established people that work in the industry but who aren't directors the chance to, you know, jump on that. And I think Lee Wannell really proved himself with 3, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. James Wan as well, and Lee Wannell are also coming back to produce, which doesn't mean too too much it just means that they're gonna maybe be kind of around but they're not gonna be really that creatively involved which does disappoint me quite a bit although it's apparently based on a story written by Lee Wannell but the script isn't by Lee Wannell does that make sense I, like I think it was a, a pitch that he kind of came up with he came up with the general idea but, but this guy named Scott Teams has come to direct this one in number five, who is kind of a newcomer. It doesn't seem like he's really worked on much from what I saw uh, having a quick look at his IMDb. But he did write the upcoming, in uh, not Insidious, <laughs> Halloween. Halloween Kills, the uh, next sequel, I guess, or reboot sequel. God, these terms are becoming confusing when it comes to labeling what the movies are. But the sequel to the 2018 reboot kind of sequel thing of Halloween from 2018. I just said 2018. But yeah, I'm excited to see the Insidious franchise coming back because it's it's been a hot minute, you know, it's been five or so years. Uh, apparently this one is going to be set after the events of two, so this is a full-blown sequel. There's no prequel stuff going on with this one. Um, and it's set, a t a fittingly, a 10 years after number two, which came out in 2013. So, you know, it's nearly a decade. That makes a ton of sense. And yeah, we're going to be back with the main Lambert family. You know, I'm not quite sure. There's not too much information on what the story is going to be there's not too much information on that kind of stuff but i'm damn excited to see this family coming back because insidious kind of needs them to be honest they, it's the best movies in the insidious franchise are definitely the ones that revolve around them one and two and i assume rose byrne is going to come back as well um as renee lambert and and the other kids i suppose or whatever but from what i read it didn't mention them it only mentioned um patrick wilson as josh lambert and ty Sim simpkins ty simpkins that's not a hard name to pronounce. Why did I have trouble with that? <laughs> uh, he's also coming back and he's going to college, I guess. Ooh, college. Look, to be honest, I feel like they're trying to... There's not too much information out. So the few articles that I went through, it was like being like, ooh, he's going to college because that's really the only thing that they had to say. So <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I guess. I mean, he, he would be. It would be about that time, right? But either way. That's what's going on. <laughs> and hopefully it's good. I don't know. I don't have too much else to say about it. Other than I'm stoked to see it coming back. That, you know, that it's confirmed that it's coming back. And 
I hope it's scary. <laughs> you know, like, I think one and two are really legitimately scary. There aren't too many movies that scare me, really. Like, I'm kind of immune to that nowadays. Like, I was scared. Oh, I was just terrified of everything. Anything horror. I was so scared when I was a kid. But, you know, ever since watching The Conjuring and Insidious and stuff when I was a younger teenager, it kind of, it scared the crap out of me. And then it kind of desensitized me because I felt like those movies taught me the tricks. Those movies kind of, it was like when a magician revealed how to do a trick and it's like oh that's not as cool anymore <laughs> that's kind of how I've I think Insidious and The Conjuring kind of wrecked horror for me a little bit at least when it comes to being scared I still love horror but like uh, I haven't really been too scared from from a horror movie since I, with a few exceptions like Hereditary Hereditary was pretty damn scary as well actually I have to say but part of that has to do with the fact that Tony Collette looks Exactly like my mum. <laughs> anyway, that has nothing to do with news. This is why I don't do news because here I am veering off into absolute bullshit. What am I talking about? I don't know. Insidious is coming back, baby, and look forward to it and stuff. Okay, cool. That's all I have to say. Uh, thanks for looking at me with your eyes and do the things. Do the things, you know, the things I like. Comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Farewell. Well.